Welcome to Mobile Must Have. My name's Andy, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to use Wi Fi as WAN, and actually, what is that? All right, so this video is pretty simple, um, and actually, it's much harder to explain, I think, than actually the concept is. Um, so stick with me for it. But Wi-Fi is WAN is basically just using a, let's say, a campground Wi-Fi, a Starbucks Wi-Fi, some external source of Wi-Fi as my main internet source to my pep wave. So the way I think about it is the pep wave is really good at bringing in different strings of usable internet. It's, you can use your SIM card, you can use Wi-Fi, you could use a LAN kind of plug-in if you wanted. All of these sources can bring internet um, accessibility basically to the PEP wave. Then I connect all of my computers, my iPads, my phones, all of that, I connect to my PEP wave. Using this Wi-Fi as WAN, I'm connecting to my campground Wi-Fi. I'm doing one in one connection to that Wi-Fi. One time I'm putting in the password, one time I'm selecting that network. I'm doing that using the PEP wave. And then once the PEP wave is connected, the PEP wave is giving that internet basically to all my devices that are already connected. So instead of me connecting my computer to the campground Wi-Fi, then my phone, then anything else that needs to be connected, all I've done is I've said, hey, PEP wave, go get internet from this source and then share it to everything else. So let's now jump to the computer. I'm going to show you how to turn on Wi-Fi as WAN and then configure it to a particular network so you can join it. All right, now we're on our computer and I've already logged in to the PepWave console, the admin console. Uh, you can see already I'm connected currently to my cellular one, which is a AT&T line and I'm getting LTE speeds. It's actually working pretty good for me right now. Uh, but for this example, let's show you how to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So uh, at the bottom, you'll see I have a couple different options and I see Wi-Fi WAN, uh, 2.4 and then I see a five. Um, typically, I would I have found that campgrounds mostly only offer 2.4. It actually goes a little further than 5. Every once in a while, you've got a good campground that has 5. But I, I recommend trying 2.4 first. The workflow is the same. We're going to let it scan. It's going to find some networks. You can Once it's ready, you can click Wireless Networks. And here, you're going to see a list of all networks that are um, nearby and that you have range to. You can see I've got this campground Wi-Fi, which is the one we'll connect to. I've got a guest network that's really bad signal. Um, another guest network that's also really, really bad. And then this is probably another RV with a wine guard solution. Um, so we're going to connect to the, the campground Wi-Fi. We're going to put in our password. And uh, we're going to hit save. We're going to then hit connect. We're going to hit OK. And now we're going to connect. Okay, and there you go. We can see it's slowly connecting. Ah, we just lost the signal. It'll come back. Um, I'm actually going to turn on the 5 um, gigahertz connection while this is thinking. And we'll see if this network has a 5 gigahertz. What I like about 5 gigahertz is it actually is a faster connection. Um, but it doesn't have anywhere close to the range of 2.4. So that's why most campgrounds will just do a 2.4 and a gigahertz connection, but if you can get one that shows five, like, oh, like look, this one's got five and it's really close. Uh, we'll hit connect. Let's see. Type in the password and see if it goes. Um, we'll wait for it to get a green star and then I'll hit connect. Um, yeah, and so I, I do connect to the five, five gigahertz when I can. Sometimes I have found even with a much less signal, like let's say you get a two bar signal, on five gigahertz, I'll get way faster speed than full bars on two. Kind of something you have to play around with um, when you get somewhere new. Yes, we want to connect. There we go. So we're almost instantly obtaining IP address and boom, we're connected to the campground Wi-Fi. So I'm not sure what's going on with the 2.4, um, but that is what you're expected to see with the five gigahertz. Uh, now, the WAN line, just to explain the last two, would be if you're going to run like an Ethernet cable from your house or from maybe your campground luckily has maybe like a wired connection with all of your other hookups, you could run an Ethernet um, and you would connect it into your WAN port, your wide area network port on your Wi-Fi or in your PEP wave. You would do that. You could do that and you could see that inbound uh, connection there. The cellular two is really only going to be on the transit duo that will run two separate kind of cell modems um, and I can have both of them running at the same time so if I drag this up here that one would run um, at the same time I think that one's on a Verizon network if it 
if it connects where I'm currently located. But that's kind of it. So that's how you connect to Campground Wi-Fi with your PepWave. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll also leave an email to support if uh, for some reason something's not working quite right. And we will uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.